Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and today I'm going to be telling you about all of the books that I read in September. <laughs> Okay, so I actually read 12 books in the month of September. That's actually kind of low compared to what my other months have been recently, but I'm actually really grateful that I've read 12 books because I've been in school, I think, for about a month now again. It's been a whole semester since I've done school, so I'm pretty freaking proud of myself that I got to read 12 books while studying and working, so yay. <laughs> okay, so out of the 12 books, two of them were ebooks, eight were audiobooks, and two were physical reads. Again, I need to get back into physically reading. But audiobooks have been really helping me with um, reading books at the moment because I do spend a lot of my time commuting to work and to school. I get a lot of listening done during the month, so I'm actually really grateful that audiobooks exist. <laughs> um, but I would really love to read more physically, so that's what I plan to do in October. <laughs> okay, so as usual, we're gonna be going from my least favorite to my favorite read, so let's get started. My least favorite book of the month was actually a book that was sent to me through NetGalley. It is an ebook. It is Against the Rules by Laura Hefferman. I give this one two stars. I was actually really excited about this. This is about our main character named Holly who works in a gaming store, like, board games and she's really into gaming as are all of her friends and all of her friends are coming together to test out a new board game because one of the friends in the group makes board games so they're testing out her board game to see if anything's wrong with it. It takes weeks to play this game and this is basically about Holly and her unrequited crush on her best friend's dad who is also in this group of people playing this game. Yeah, it's an age gap romance. I believe she's in her mid... 20s and he's in his early 40s maybe don't count me on that but it's obviously also a forbidden romance because that is her best friend's father the reason why i did not enjoy this as much as i thought i was going to is number one i was really excited about the gaming part of it like them talking about board games and everything and i was honestly really really confused the whole time they were playing this board game. I had no idea what was going on, like nothing. No, I, don't, I, was, I was skimming. I ended up skimming most of the parts where they were playing the actual board game because I didn't understand it at all. So that was really disappointing to me. And the other main reason why I didn't love this as much as I thought I would is because I thought this was gonna be like a romance between Nathan and Holly and then the summary kind of tricks you because there's another guy in the summary part of it which I don't think you needed to put that guy in the summary because he's not a part of the story at all. You deal a lot with Holly's ex-fiance which I didn't think that whole storyline with hit with her ex-fiance was not needed. That's I, that's not a spoiler that's what happens at the beginning of the book. You get told all of that in the beginning of the book. Um, that basically her ex-fiance stole all of her money and now he's going to jail. And there's this whole part about her not having any money anymore and her trying to talk with her ex. It's just a whole thing. I don't think it was needed. I think this book would have been way better if it was just a book about Holly and Nathan and them trying to figure out their relationship and trying to tell Nathan's daughter what is going on. That only was maybe 10% of the book. <laughs> so I was really disappointed in it. Anyway, I'm gonna move on now. <laughs> okay, the next couple books I'm gonna talk about is a series. This is the Sinner of Saints series by LJ Shen. I listened to the first three. These are contemporary adult romance books. Each one is like it has a hate to love aspect to it. I'm not gonna go in detail because it is kind of like a series. They are companion books. First one is Vicious and I learned about this one from Riley Marie. This one is like a bully romance all, almost. Our main character, woman, when she was in high school, she was really bullied by this guy named Vicious um, because Vicious thinks that this girl overheard something she wasn't supposed to. So he ends up bullying her all throughout high school and ends up like forcing her out of the town that she lives in. This takes place maybe 10 years after that and they end up 
reconnecting and she ends up having to work for him for a reason. It's hate to love. It wasn't really my favorite. I gave it four out of five stars. I was expecting way more from it, to be honest with you. I think I might even change my rating to 3.5 because I don't remember like anything that happens in this book. It wasn't a favorite of mine at all. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. I don't know. It just sometimes the bullying aspects of it were a little bit too much for me to be honest with you that's just me personally i bet other people are different <laughs> next one is ruckus and this is kind of like a second chance romance this guy really liked a girl in high school but he ends up dating that girl's sister instead it takes place like 12 10 years later and they hate each other and they may end up actually getting together after all those years. That's all I remember about it. I gave this one three stars, so there you go. <laughs> and then the next one, the third book that I read in this series was Scandalous. And I also gave this one three stars. I don't really remember anything about it, except that it is an age gap romance. Our main character woman, I believe is either 18 or 19. And the man in this is in his 30s. And he's also a single parent. And she really loves surfing. That's the only things I remember about this book. Like overall just three star reads. They were good. I liked them at the time. Like they were okay, but like they're not memorable. I'm not gonna reread them. So there you go. <laughs> so now we're getting into the books that I actually really loved. Um, I th believe the rest of the books that I'm gonna talk about are either 4.5 or 4 stars or higher. So the next book is Fix Her Up by Tessa Bailey. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really, really, really enjoyed my time reading this. I buddy read this with Steph from Neffa Entertainment. I will link her channel down below for y'all. I think we just had a really fun time reading this book. I loved this couple a lot. This book is all over the book internet, book twitter, everywhere. Um, this is about Georgie, who is the baby of her family. I believe she's in her early 20s. Her job is a birthday party clown and she is kind of like the baby of the family. Her, whole, her family babies her and doesn't think that she should be a part of certain things because she is the baby of the family. Then we have our other main character, Travis, and he was a really big baseball star, but then he got an injury to where he had to move back home. And Georgie has always had like a secret little crush on Travis growing up because Travis is also her older brother's best friend. This is about Georgie and Travis coming back together and having a fake relationship because Travis really wants a job, but he has to look family friendly to get a certain job and Georgie wants to look more adultish to her family, so they end up having a fake relationship. Georgie is so wonderful. I love her character a lot. Steamy scenes in here were great too, just gotta say. Okay, so the reason why I didn't give this one a whole full five stars is just because it took me a really long time to get into and read. I bet if I reread it, I might give it a five stars. We'll see, but right now it's a 4.5 for me. Just an overall really great romance book, so I do totally recommend this one. Next we have The Year We Fell Down by Serena Bowen. I gave this one also 4.5 out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed this one. This is a new adult romance book about a main character named Corey who suffered from a spinal injury. So she is in a wheelchair and it is her freshman year of college and she gets put in a handicap accessible dorm room. And a boy named Hartley lives across the hall from her who is in crutches. He suffered from a hockey injury to his leg, but his injury is temporary unlike Corey's. Ever since Corey's injury, she's always thought nobody's ever gonna wanna be with me because I am in a wheelchair and Hartley may be the person to prove her wrong about something like that. This has great witty banter to it. I really love the new adult aspect to it. I love college romance books, so I really loved this a lot. This was the other ebook that I read this month and it also has disability rep in it. If you're wanting to get into books that have more disability rep in it, I totally recommend this one. And yeah, I give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Really, really enjoyed it. Next we have Cold Hearted Boss by R.S. Gray. This was our Lovely Ladies Book Club pick for the month of September. I listened to this on Audible through the Audible Romance Package and I believe it's maybe like a six hour audiobook, so it's kind of short. And I really enjoyed reading this. Um, By now, we will have our live show up. I believe it went up last Saturday, so I will link that down below for y'all to watch. This is about our main character named Taylor, who is going through some financial struggles. This construction company is hiring able body strong working men to help them build something in their town, and so she dresses up as a man to go work for this construction company because she really, really needs money for her and her 
mom and her sister and there she sees that the owner of this company of this construction site is Ethan who she has met in the past and they hate each other. It's really great. I really enjoyed this. I really loved how um, R.S. Gray went about them finally getting together. <laughs> I really enjoyed that part of it. The angst was great. <laughs> the hate to love part or the dislike to love. It's it's kind of confusing. I don't want to say it's like hate to love. Uh, maybe he hates her and then she just dislikes him, but they obviously have that attraction to one another. It sounds interesting to you. I would totally pick it up. I really enjoyed it. And then you can come back and watch our live show that we filmed. Next book is another R.S. Gray book. I gave this one five stars. This one is Make Me Bad. I really enjoy this one. This is about Madison and Ben. Madison is a librarian and she really wants to spice up her life because her life has just been kind of boring and she wants to get more out of life. And so Ben, who is really, really popular in his town because his dad is... I think really really rich so he's kind of famous in his really small town. He ends up beating up a guy in a bar and having to complete some community service and he decides to do that at the library and he there sees Madison and she asks him to help her make her bad and they kind of complete these things on this list that she's made up of things she wants to do to help her spice up her year and her life. Some of those things may involve Ben himself. I really enjoyed this a lot. It was really good. I really recommend it. I also listened to this on the Audible Romance Package, so it is free if you have the Audible Romance Package, so there you go. Next we have The Wallflower Wager by Tessa Dare. I gave this one five out of five stars for freaking sure. Okay, so this is historical romance, third book in a companion romance series that I have been loving. And this is about a main character named Penny who collects pets that people don't want anymore or that need help raising from being sick or being injured. And right next door lives Gabe. He just purchased the building next door to hers and he's trying to fix it all up, make it more presentable to sell it for a higher profit. He notices Penny has a bunch of pets in her yard, like a goat, an otter, a steer. There is a lot of pets around her house and he thinks nobody's gonna wanna live in this house he's trying to sell because of all these pets that live next door. So. Penny and Gabe are trying for their own different reasons to find homes for these pets and they set off together to try and find homes for these pets and they maybe might spark up a romance through all of this even though he doesn't think he's good enough for her because he basically grew up on the streets and she is a lady. I really enjoyed this a lot. <laughs> I am really loving this series. If you want to get into historical romance, I totally recommend Tessa Dare, especially the Girl Meets Duke series. The first book is called The Duchess Deal, so I totally recommend this series for sure. Next and lastly, the grouping of books that I have are free books in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series by J.R. Ward. <laughs> I am loving this series so much. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. I love this series so this is a vampire romance series. If you didn't know, I've been talking about the Black Dagger Brotherhood for months now. Urban fantasy with vampires. It's a romance series. <laughs> a lot of mature content in this series, don't get me wrong. All of the same characters are in every single book. So it's kind of like reading about these characters you love for 10 books. It's amazing. These books are very, very, very character driven. So that's what I love about them. Okay, so the first one from the series that I read this month was A Lover Enshrined. And I gave this one 4.5 out of 5 stars. I also buddy read this with Amy from Book Girl Abroad. I listened to all these books, by the way. I have them physically up until... I think book 11 or book 12. <laughs> this one wasn't my favorite because I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars. I, gave, I didn't give it 5 stars um, because it did take me a while to actually get into the story because the one character that this is about in here, like I didn't really want to read his book to be honest with you at the time. But towards the end, in the middle, I was like, ooh, okay, I'm really invested now. The beginning was really hard for me to get into though. So that's why I didn't give it a full 5 stars. Next is number 7 in the series. We have Lover Avenge. I loved this one a lot. I can't give y'all anything about these books because it's the seventh book in the freaking series. Just know that I love I loved this one a lot. 
it's probably like maybe the biggest one or the next one is the biggest one i'm not sure but this one so good love this one five stars also listened to this one and the last book in my wrap up is lover mine by jr ward five stars might be my new favorite in the series i love this one <laughs> a lot. <laughs> this one's about John Matthew and his love interest and I love it. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. John Matthew is probably like top three of favorite characters in this series for me and just him and what he has to go through and what his love interest has to go to go through in this book. Oh my word. <laughs> this is amazing. This series is amazing and I totally recommend it because they're so stinking good. <laughs> Anyways, there you have it. That was my September wrap up for y'all. Those were all 12 books that I read last month. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. I would love to know and talk to you about them down in the comments. Also, let me know what your favorite book was that you read in September because I need to add more books to my TBR for freaking sure. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in the next one. Bye!